A year ago, MTC had helped to get the permits for the artistic lighting of the west span of the Bay Bridge. But the $8 million in funding came from public donations as a two-year art project. Tonight we're gathering to really honor this amazing work of art, but also as a reminder that uh, we're one year into a, a two-year run of this project, and in one year it will go dark, and it will stay dark forever, barring swift and certain community support in the form of $12 million to keep it lit for another decade. Before the Bay Lights brought renewed energy to San Francisco's Bay Front, United Airlines predicted it would be the number one tourist destination. You know, I thought that was maybe an overstatement. Uh, they did that a month before the Bay Lights went live. The number one thing to see, not just in the United States, but in the world, you know. Uh, Paris was uh, 22. In 2015, the lights will come down so Caltrans can paint the bridge. If the lights are to be reinstalled, it will take a lot of fundraising. We're going to blow the candles out on our first anniversary and let the bridge stay dark for, for just 10 minutes. You know, sort of as a rem reminder to people here that, that it will go dark in just one year and that this is our moment, this next 12 months, to, to work hard, work together as a community, I and mean, once again defy expectations, uh, raise the money to make it stay permanent. 10 seconds. It was Ben Davis's brainchild as a salute to the Bay Area's Cinderella Bridge that was too often overlooked because of another landmark. And I just thought as the sun was coming up behind it, you know, there must be some way to let it shine in the region's consciousness again. And it hit me that it could be a canvas of light. His organization, thebaylights.org, raised $8 million to bring the imagination of artist Leo Villarreal to life. Uh, it's been unbelievable. I mean, the outpouring of joy that this the Bay Lights has elicited is just overwhelming. I'm honored, humbled, and incredibly grateful. You know, we've done nothing other than add about a quarter inch of light to it. Uh, it is the exact same thing it was before, and yet we can see it. We can really see it again for the first time. Now supporters are in a one-year race to raise another $12 million to put the lights back up for an entire decade. What matters is that 50 million people over the course of two years will see it, a quarter billion people over the course of the decade that it stays up beyond that will see it. They'll see it without ever having to buy a ticket. Give to the project. Uh, you can go to thebaylights.org and, and just give what you can, give the maximum minimum that you can to this project to help us bring the magic to the Bay Area for another decade through the year 2026. And how optimistic are you? I'm incredibly optimistic. I don't know how we're going to get there. Let's just say, we're going to find a way. <laughs> this is my motto. In San Francisco, Mark Jones reporting.